The Cincinnati Cyclones lead the Fort Wayne Comets to zip in the first round of the playoffs. Tonight is game three in Indiana. Sports anchor Marshall Kramsky has a story about the Cyclones captain that is a long time in the making. Minor league hockey players don't have the same luxuries that NHL players have. Besides long bus rides and not having the same level of facilities, they can be traded for a bag of pucks or a couple nights in a hotel room. Making stories of longevity, such as Cyclones captain Justin Vives, that much more impressive. 13 seasons of minor league hockey. It is unbelievable because, uh, you know, the average hockey career for a, a player, usually maybe three, four years, maybe five at the most. At the end of the regular season, the Cincinnati Cyclones captain played in his 700th professional hockey game. And they score! Five knocks it in! I mean, it was special. I mean, obviously, anytime you hit a milestone, as it gets up there, it's kind of something to hang your hat on. Vive has fought through a lot in his career. Big uppercut! Earning a Kelly Cup championship ring in 2021. White Vive gonna drag him away from the back. Flashback 16 years. Before Vive was a star for the Miami Redhawks, he was selected 92nd overall in the NHL draft by the Anaheim Ducks. And I think that's where it kind of truly set in was like how proud he was just to see me kind of take that stride and, you know, at least have a chance to, you know, fall in his footsteps. Justin's father is Rick Vive, a former NHL star, a Toronto Maple Leafs legend in the 80s. The first 50 goal scorer in the storied franchise's history. He's trying to get the standing ovation. Justin didn't realize just how big of a deal dad was until age 13, when the Vi family moved back to Toronto. Holy geez, like everybody's, every one of my friend's parents grew up watching him play for the Maple Leafs. More than just friends of the Vi family, Cyclones head coach Jason Payne was born and raised in Toronto. How big of a Rick Vi fan were you? Huge, huge fan. As a young kid, Payne experienced a moment that has stuck with him to this day from a local celebrity softball game he attended with his daycare. Back, hey, mom, look, I got an autograph. And I said, who's that? He goes, Rick Vive. I'm like, wow. Now it comes back full circle. And now here I am in the same position. Now I'm coaching now, but I'm coaching his son. Being the son of an NHL star in Canada, those are massive skates to fill. I never had, I never felt pressure with it. Um, I guess it was almost, I wanted to make him proud. Justin has never played in an NHL game, but he does have one thing his dad does not, a professional hockey championship ring. That's the one thing he could never do, was he never won a championship. And uh, after I did win one, that was kind of the first thing he said is, is like, now you've done it. Hoping to earn a ring for Cincinnati by following his dad's advice. You know, so every year might be your last year getting back to that opportunity and you just, you know, you gotta play like it is. Hundreds of games can lead to one shot to hang forever. I asked Vive what it would mean to him to win a second cup, this time for the Cyclones. He said being the captain of a team in a city that he is so connected to, like Cincinnati, that would make it that much more special. Reporting on the road to the Kelly Cup for the Cincinnati Cyclones. Marshall Kramsky, WCPO 9 Sports.